Hey, what's up? This is Paul, the ESA Badger, and today I'm going to be reviewing not one, not two, but three Asuka Pop figures, WWE. So with that said, let's do this. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm going to be reviewing the three Asuka Pops today. There's the first one, the Summer Convention Limited Edition. And at the bottom we have the Walmart and the Target exclusives. Just to give you a little bit of background about these pieces. Um, I myself am not, like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm not really a pop collector myself, but these are actually the first figures that got me interested in collecting the pops, I should say. I didn't even collect them, I just wanted these specific figures. If you're not a wrestling fan, um, this is Asuka, she's pretty new to WWE. Um, awesome undefeated streak, past Bill Goldberg. Uh, in NXT, lost her streak at WrestleMania to Charlotte. But anyway, um, going more to the pops themselves, just real quick, these were a pain in the ass to get. Believe me, because all of them or exclusives. So let me talk about this one first. The summer exclusive. The summer exclusive here was, to my understanding, supposed to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So I was able, fortunate enough to buy it off somebody who somehow was able to get them before they actually had the con. Little did I know that this was also gonna be, uh, in a sense, a Target exclusive. You just have to order them online. So that was a pain, okay? And then, this one, the Walmart exclusive, well, needless to say, it was just a crack crack shot getting this one. I ordered it online, but I had to continuously refresh my browser throughout the day until it actually said back in stock. Pretty sure if you go online now, it's gonna say sold out. I don't know, maybe. But again, that one was a pain, another exclusive. Now this one was the worst of them all to get. The Target exclusive. And again, this is my first time looking for pops, and I've heard horror stories about trying to get pops at Target. Believe me, folks, they're true. Oh, they're damn true. Um, so with this one, apparently it came out, and immediately people who are hardcore pop collectors snagged them up. So the day of San Diego Comic-Con, I'm thinking because they're saying this was supposed to come out, right? So I'm thinking, go to Target, pick it up, show up there before they open, and there's a line of people waiting to get in. Never seen that for Pops, just freaked me out, right? So get in the building, they don't have it, but guess what? They're not selling this one, they're selling this one. And this is an online Target only buy. So it wasn't even in the store. So got up early, wasted my time. I was like, wait a minute. I have this one already. Again, this is the first one that I got. Very first one that I got. Everybody was looking for it. People that were there though, they had this one. And this is one that I was looking for. Now I got very, very fortunate that one of the guys he actually snagged up two of them earlier that month. So I talked to him for a little bit and making some friends. And by luck, honestly luck, I was able to convince him to sell it to me. He sold it, he sold it to me for retail. And this is another thing that freaks me out about, I guess, the hardcore pop collectors. He sold it to me for retail because of that, right? And let me see if I can get it with the camera. See those creases right there? Yeah, 
Apparently, any kind of blemishes to the boxes devalues these pops for the quote unquote hardcore collectors, right? But he asked me, hey, if you're willing to take it for retail, which was 10 bucks, I told him, dude, I don't really care about the box. I just wanted these figures. So my very first experience with these pops, it was very horrendous. It had to be, oh, okay, I'm not a pop collector. I don't have any pops, but the one, the ones that I actually do want, oh, guess what? They're gonna be a bitch to get. And sure enough, they were. But definitely glad that I did get them, love them, you know. I'm not a box collector, but I will keep these in the box. And I'm gonna open them right now just to actually get a good view of them. I know there's a whole thing like, you're not supposed to open these, blah, 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 but whatever, I don't care. They're just cool. I might just open one of them, just not to get, get them all again. The only difference is this one, the summer convention exclusive, no face paint. And that's how Asuka actually looks in the ring when she wrestles. Uh, this one, the other two actually, these are just masks that she wears to the ring. Uh, that's one, and that's another mask. Other than that, same figure. So I guess let's open the Walmart one and we'll do a review, okay? All right, so this is Asuka out of the box. Um, one reason why I really do like Asuka is because just in a unique character, original. It's not afraid to actually dress up in different colors in our outfits either. Um, one of the biggest things I noticed during a lot of rest, well, with a lot of wrestlers, is that they tend to just want to be dressing in black, black trunks, black boots, which is fine. I mean, if you're Steve Austin, but you know, I like to see a little bit of color, and I don't think there's anyone any more colorful than Asuka right now. Um, with maybe Alexa Bliss, but that's another story. But yeah, I mean, very nice pop, honestly. I actually really like it. I'm glad it's actually the first one, first ones that I'm, I got. Um, very cool, you know. Uh, just spinning it around so you can take a 360 look at it. Like I said, I'm not going to open up the other ones. Well, there it goes. I'm not going to open the other ones because they're just basically the same thing. But one cool thing when I opened the box is that it had this backdrop to it. So inside the box, she has this background, which is like WWE Arena, fast taking pictures, stuff like that. Very cool. Um, you know, when I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, these pops are very, very tiny. And it just boggles my mind how people willingly play, pay so much money for these. Um, but hey, you know, to each his own. You know, I'm more of a statue collector. I actually have, um, Asuka figures. I might be doing some reviews on those couple of ones. Um, real cool. Anyway, again, uh, I'm actually looking for the figure of Asuka that's in this outfit. It's her first one. Again, there's just a close up of the face, the attire, knee kick pads belt, bra, arm straps, wristband, etc. Anyway, um, if I had to give this a rating from one to 10 as far as pops go, I would give this mm, at least a solid nine. Um, maybe that's just me being biased because I like this character, but Again, I'm not a pop collector. I will have a couple of pops, but my whole mentality with that is just collect what you want, guys. You know, there's, I can see the, the desire to get more of these, but again, just collect what you want. Don't get caught up on just collecting, just to be collecting these things. Um, Cause I've seen it, it's pandemonium story behind this one again this is the Walmart but going back to the Target I just found that it was insane how people are just waiting in line to get this figure and other figures when they don't even like the character I mean to me I feel like 
the char the collectors out there who are hardcore collectors of pops just collect just to collect not necessarily that they even like the character but anyway that's just my opinion and this is my review again this is just Asuka Walmart exclusive and there's a Target exclusive and the summer convention exclusive anyway guys I hope you like this video again I'm just practicing starting off with little things that I have hoping to get better at this just doing some practice runs um, do you have any comments suggestions feedback I'm always open to um, feed any kind of feedback you have suggestions recommendations again this is just something I like to do my hobby and hopefully post one of these every week Anyway, thanks for watching.